Why, good morning. Today is the 9th of January, 2023. I almost said 2022, but it's the 23. Uh, been pretty good about that so far this year. Who knows when I'll start stirring that up. Anyhow, we're, we're running really well. We're at uh, 696 still. Uh, both units are almost to capacity. Uh, the, the little unit, unit one, is at uh, 235 kilowatts. The bigger unit, unit two, is at uh, 465, uh, which give, is giving us a combination. Uh, they're jumping up and down now, so they're between uh, 699 and 700 kilowatt output. Uh, we did really well with our with our uh, electrical output last last. Uh, week, so uh, happy with that. Uh, started out this morning a little bit, a little bit. Uh, things were smooth, going great. Uh, I've got a, uh, I've got G grand jury duty today, so that's at 9:30. So I have to be at the courthouse at 9:30. So I got up and I did my stuff. We got things around and um, I got ready to leave. Sarah came down bent over and was crying and carried on and I said what's wrong and she said I think I'm gonna have a baby and it was like perfect let me wake up Mimi <laughs> so I went got Winita got her up and I came back and Sarah was doubled over in pain at that time I said do you want me to call an ambulance and she said yeah I don't know where that evil thing came from. Well, I do. Have you met her mother? But anyways, um, she sounded just like her mother. So called the ambulance. Uh, you know, in a small in a small community, it's kind of funny when you dial nine one one because the call went something like this. Hamilton County 911, what's your emergency? I said, well, good morning, James. Glenn Williams, how you doing? Oh, I'm doing great, Glenn, how about you? Well, we're doing okay, but we're gonna need an ambulance for my granddaughter because she's trying to have a baby. Oh, well, she full term? Well, yeah, but, but they think she lacks three weeks. And he said, oh, okay, that's close enough. It's like, yeah, that's what I thought, he said. Uh, is it, is it, uh, how far are the contractions apart? And I said, well, they haven't stopped yet, blah, blah, blah. And I said, she asked, uh, you know, she's, she's ready to go. And I said, and I don't, they, I'm not taking her down to my car. And he laughed and said, okay, so you guys, the rest of the information. Pretty soon he paged it out. He said, yeah, he said, the ambulance needed Glenn Williams resident, 23-year-old female in lay active labor. All the all the EMTs started showed up. Of course, Donna's right next door at the Mountain Market. She came running over because we called her. <coughs> so she came over. The EMTs all showed up. They came up, came upstairs, and uh, said, "How you doing? How things feeling? Okay, you're all right. You know, it's your first pregnancy. No, got it. You know, blah blah blah." And they said, well, somebody said, well, get the stair chair. And I said, well, do you, Sarah, do you think you could walk down the stairs? And she said, I'm not walking anymore. So I just walked away and said, I'm standing back here. Now, the the, the, uh, the EMTs all came in and I said, not me, not me this time. And they all laughed the TV and, you know, it was a great time. <laughs> so we sent Sarah to the hospital this morning. Um, we'll find out whether we have a second great grandchild. Uh, it's going to be a boy. We know that. Uh, we'll see if it happens today or when, or where, and how, what, who, where, why. I don't know. Uh, but uh, everybody's up at the house. Uh, so I, uh, Lee, Lee, Lee was like, I said, you gotta take care of your dog. And he's like, huh? And I said, you gotta get the dog. The, the ambulance is coming. Take care of the dog. So Lee did Lee thing. He got up, 
brought the dog out to the to the living room. Well, I, I'm gonna go get water. There's an ambulance coming. Get the dog in the room. So he did. Uh, stayed in there with him and uh, uh, <laughs> got him. Uh, sometimes you just wonder. You know, sometimes you just wonder. Of course, Paul had came in earlier. It said uh, when he came, he came, he, he gets dropped off when his parents go to work. He gets dropped off at our house. He falls up in the ninth grade, uh, goes to Wells, plays varsity basketball. Uh, probably gets that skill from not me. Uh, <coughs> but he, he, uh, he, he came in and said, is anybody going to do laundry today? I said, we do laundry every day. He said, oh, I forgot. Didn't wash my jersey. And I also need my warm-ups washed. I said, well, put them in a pile. Put them right in front of the washer. Uh, when Mimi gets up, I'll let her know. We'll get them washed. We'll get them get them dried and we'll get them down to you at the school uh, before you leave. Uh, I said, well, we said it was Sarah. Sarah could drive them down. Then Sarah did her thing. So, never ending. Uh, you know, I, I said, Paul, did you remember having a basketball game on Friday? We, yeah. Did you remember that you wore your uniform? Well, well yeah. Why did you not pull it out of your bag and have somebody wash it over the weekend? Why do you think of it? There you go. <laughs> Paul's pretty responsible most of the time. Sometimes he does that teenager stuff. Uh, he just didn't think about it, and what a what a what a better correct answer. Anyways, so we're, we're uh, back back to the back to the power plant. Things are doing well. <coughs> we need to go and take a look at the at the uh, the river. Make sure everything's all right with that. Chickens have been fed. Chickens are out. They're doing their thing. Uh, got some some weasel tracks, I believe, around a uh, little bit of fresh powder. I'll show you these tracks so you can see what they are. And then you can tell me what they are. There they are. They wander off this way, this direction. Right through there, into the... Maybe they just came over here to get a drink. Oh, no, there's Muddy Prince going up the, the hill right there. <coughs> so I'm not sure what that is. I think it might be a, it might be a uh, uh, mink that's coming in here. It's possible. The chicken didn't seem to bother the chickens, didn't seem any, they're, uh, they weren't excited this morning, so apparently, uh, it wasn't bothering them. I don't see any new, uh, well, there, were, there are tracks up, up by the fence. We have a hole. A little hole in the fence right there huh so apparently something was chewing on the fence there uh, there there is uh, some feed and some food right there that uh, they could be eating. walk around back double check back here and make sure there's nothing new and exciting uh, there's, the, there's the tracks from where the chicken was yesterday 
I, I believe this is a chicken that I stepped on. It was just came back here and died or something ate it. There's the lone rooster hanging out. What are you doing, mister? Eating, eating ice. You know, sometimes these young roosters are like teenagers and they just don't, you just kind of stand back and go, what are you doing? They got food, they got water. He doesn't have to do that. Well, the other rooster's out, so maybe he does. <laughs> water levels are doing well this morning. We're down a little bit that we're from where we were yesterday, which we should be. Uh, we haven't had any rain, haven't had any, you know, any big melt off, no snow, no, none of that. I mean, we had a little dusting of snow, but that isn't going to do anything. Yeah, the, uh, yeah, the rooster came over here. He, the young rooster came over this way. So anyways, we got, uh, I don't got any other tracks for that, so, or where it came in at. It went left that way. It's possible it came down this way, came through here. Take a quick look. Yeah, there's some, some little tracks in through here. You don't really know. Can't really tell. Water level looks fairly peaceful this morning. Let's take a quick look. We are we are so slow, still slowly melting away. In the even in the back here, got some prints here, but they look. I'm not sure what those are either. So, but they they've gone down to the river, so there might be a coon there. But you can see we're we're not doing bad. We're, we're the the river's pretty calm. Still got a little water running down from the from the highway over there from the drainage. Uh, we've got water still coming down from up on top uh, through the drainage on the old road. Uh, it all it kind of makes a swale over on the other side. It comes comes down through, and there's a spring up in there. Uh, it used to run a whole lot more, and the other one didn't run as much. So uh, I don't know what happened, what changed, but now that one runs almost con continuously. But uh, you can see up in the woods. There's this is no snow. There's just and you know this is this is january <laughs> strange 26 degrees out today not terribly bad we're starting to feel uh, i start to feel a little better than i was let me get you what are you doing you're all crooked okay there we go Woo. Got to get my, uh, I got one report I got to get typed up and sent in. The, uh, the computers have been, been slow, the internet's slow, the internet's always slow down here. Uh, sometimes if I have to do a report and do it quick, I, I have to get home because we are, well, we've got a mile and a half of cable and we are the only customers on it. And when we ask for an upgrade to from, uh, it's basically DSL, uh, they absolutely said no. So, <laughs> uh, we've looked at, we've, we've been experimenting, looking around uh, for some other, other options. Uh, nothing is a great option. 
what we would like to do is we would like to have uh, some active cameras in, in the in down here uh, so that we could do it as instead of instead of taking a, a picture every minute we could keep you know an active picture uh, keep things rolling all the time so we might could click on any time and look but that'll happen down, downstream down the road uh, when we ever figure out I mean we looked at we're looking at Verizon uh, and everything has to be uh, Basically, we have to get a line of sight back to the tower so we can get get the uh, service there. Uh, we I have put up a booster uh, for the cell phone, which does help. Uh, but uh, uh, you know that's not a good long-term solution. Uh, so if anybody has any ideas, throw them at me and I'll uh, I'll, I'll submit them and see where we can go. I've got to send my report in for the weekly uh, meter reading here. We did really well for for the uh, for the week. I put up the formula to figure it out for them. Uh, the, this goes to two people. Uh, the, one guy would be able to figure it out. I don't know about the other. So uh, I put it down. I break it down in, in, in so that they can look at it and say, oh, that's how many kilowatt hours we had. Because we, we build by kilowatt hours, so that's what we have to convert it to. multitasker so I can't talk and, and type at the same time it's not there so I, I'm just doing it and, and realistically this is like two sentences forecast is calling for what it, what it what it looks like but I do let them know that you know we've got some snow weekend Then I fix all my mistakes, and that truly is three sentences. That's the whole report, and that's all it is. That's what I gotta do. Uh, U.S. page. Let's see if we can come up with. I don't think it'll play. No, it will. 
to get done the, the order for the uh, uh, for the, the boiler that's got to go in later this week or start start going in later this week. I mean, that might get kicked till, till Friday, but I need to get it started. Uh, I'd like to have it in my hands uh, and at least get things rolling. Uh, I may go over there at some point earlier and start running some wire for uh, thermostats, uh, but I really didn't want to do anything until I got a, got a, a, a deposit, not that I didn't trust anybody, but things happen and people have to change their minds. So anyhow, that's enough for today. Uh, I will talk to you uh, as soon as I, uh, you know, something exciting happens or in the morning, I'll let you know where everything went. So anyways, you guys have a great day. Take care of each other. Uh, if, if Heather's watching, hi, Heather. It's nice to talk to you last night. Uh, the rest of you, uh, take care of yourselves. Take care of each other because that's all we got. I'll talk to you later.